The COVID-19 pandemic has brought a lot of uncertainty and changes to many of our lives, from how we work, socialize, shop, and travel. And according to research done out of a UK university, it also affected meteorologists' abilities to predict the weather. During this spring three months, the accuracy indeed dropped. Yang Chen worked on a study out of Lancaster University that looked at the accuracy of weather predictions between March and May this year and compared them to the same time period in the past three years. He found that surface temperatures, relative humidity, wind speed and pressure were significantly less accurate between March and May this year. Chen thinks the inaccuracy is because of the lack of aircraft that took flight during those months. Aircrafts record weather data like wind speed and temperature every few minutes and share that data with various weather forecasting organizations. Less flights means less data, making it more difficult for some meteorologists to accurately predict the weather. According to Flight Radar 24, an online global flight tracking service, commercial flights were down about 3.9% in the first week of March, compared to the same time in 2019. By the end of March, the frequency of flights dropped to 60.9%, and the months that followed, April and May, only got worse. Commercial flights dropped about 74% in April and 71% in May, as compared to 2019. For China, US, and uh, Australia, uh, because of they have very busy air flights, and uh, then, of course, during pandemic, they are impacted most because they used to have a lot of this aircraft information, and now they lost this information. Chen found that regions with a higher frequency of flights had some of the highest inaccuracies in weather predictions during the coronavirus pandemic. That doesn't include Europe since meteorologists don't rely as heavily on aircraft data, since they have enough high-density measuring equipment on the ground for weather forecasting. But when it comes to remote areas like Greenland and the Sahara Desert, Chen says there were significant inaccuracies as they rely more on airplanes for predicting the weather. Chen found that data from aircraft observations affects long-term forecasts more than any other. Meteorologists have lots of tools to forecast the weather. They rely heavily on satellites, buoys and open water, weather balloons, weather stations and radars, but data from aircraft and cruise ships are also used in addition to help with forecasting. Some experts are disagreeing with Chen's findings. What Chen doesn't mention so much is satellites and we use data from tens of satellites and they are very important. Aircraft are important, satellites are very important. Because of the other observations, we don't think there was too much um, impact on the forecast scale. That's not to say that we don't want the aircraft observations back again, we do, and they have some impact. We don't want people to get too alarmed either. Our colleague from Lancaster may be right that, that we lost some skill, but we did not uh, lose anything catastrophic. The accuracy uh, goes up and down on, on a daily basis uh, based on a number of things. We need to see it over a longer period of time. We would need to see how did different... Uh, there are about 15, 20 computer models around the world that are doing more or less the same things. They use slightly different approaches. They use slightly different mixes of observations. And, and we would like to see uh, sort of uh, a good uh, cross-section. Experts say while data recorded through aircrafts is important, it's not the most important tool in predicting the weather for ground levels. It won't affect the surface weather very much because we have all the satellite data still. But Chen believes data from elevated heights where aircrafts fly is very important for predicting long-term weather for people on the ground. Current situation of higher level temperature may be not important for current condition of the surface temperature now, but after one day, two day, or one week later, we have this circulation in the atmosphere. So if we don't know what is the information now on the upstairs, so we can't really predict what will happen in the next one day, two day, three day, or one week later. While meteorologists around the world use different forecasting models and have opposing views when it comes to the significance of aircraft data, they all agree that the more tools that are used to collect data, the more helpful it is to predict the weather.
Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.